Well, good morning, everybody. I have had this trailer for about a month and I'm finally getting around to do a, just a first impressions video of it. Um, technically on the title, it's a 2024 Big Tex uh, 14K rated hydraulic damp and tilt trailer. Um, it's the 20 foot version. There's four feet of stationary deck and 16 feet of tilting deck. Um, and just to begin the video, uh, I'm not making this video to kind of bash on big techs. There's just some uh, quality control issues that I've experienced with uh, just the first little bit of owning the trailer. I'm still happy with my decision and I think it'll be a really good work trailer over time, but uh, it hasn't, hasn't exactly been smooth up to this point. So when I first went to purchase this trailer um, on the dealer lot, I noticed, and it's harder to tell with the machine on there, but uh, the lumber they use for the deck on here I would say is C grade lumber, B grade at best. I mean, you can kind of see with the, the gaps on some of these, uh, there's quite a bit of warping going on. It's not uh, not the best lumber they could have chosen. So that was one thing I noticed I didn't like. Uh, and this was the only one on the lot, so I couldn't really pick one with better lumber. This is just what it was. Another thing I noticed right off the bat, um, you can kind of see here is these fasteners were not installed so someone had installed halfway across the deck so i'll show you up here like you know to that board or something and all of these ones on that row back here hadn't been installed so it almost yeah it wasn't confidence inspiring it almost appeared as if it hadn't went through final inspection or something like that so i didn't i wasn't impressed with that um and then so i Talk to the dealership about that they put some fasteners in it which is not a big deal but like i say it doesn't give you a whole lot of confidence in the you know final inspection process another thing i noticed right off the bat and this is even all of these things are before i even purchased the trailer that uh weren't um i don't know weren't up to my standard what i would expect out of a brand new trailer um this is another thing i noticed i don't know if you can tell on camera but this brand new trailer i haven't it's not winter or anything uh, and this rust was through the powder coat there when I picked it up. Um, I've only used it for about a month, but that was already there, so I'm going to have to spray some surface shield or corrosion protection on that. Um, another thing that just makes me think it didn't go through a final inspection, so the wiring on these trailers, there are these clips, they're retention clips that uh, run along the side of this frame all the way down beside the tilting portion and it, it's a very easy way and a safe way to store your wire out of the way uh, when I first tilted it which I can't do since there's a machine on it right now the wiring in here wasn't even in those retention clips it was just hanging there uh, in harm's way it definitely could get pinched like that so that was another thing I didn't love um, obviously not a you know not a huge deal to fix that but it just makes you wonder uh, maybe maybe that's not protocol for big techs but the trailer that i got seems like it didn't have much of a final inspection before it left so i towed the trailer home i towed it home with my wife's car uh, which doesn't have a brake controller so which leads me to the next uh, negative experience i had off the bat first time i went to use the trailer i had it loaded up like this which you know combined weight is about uh, about 12,000 pounds or a little over 12,000 pounds. So heavier enough, you want trailer brakes, especially on a new trailer. Uh, first time I went to stop, I had no trailer brakes. Uh, my pickup was also telling me that trailer brakes weren't connected, uh, which is obviously not ideal on a brand new trailer. So I called Big Tex. Um, I asked, I said, the nearest Big Tex trailer dealership is booked way out. Can I use a private party um, or a smaller uh, trailer repair facility to fix the trailer brakes. They said no problem. They were actually really good to deal with. I brought it in. Uh, they fixed the, it was a couple poor connections is why the trailer brakes weren't working. So the guy fixed it. I talked to Big Techs. They paid for the bill. It was like $200 and no questions asked or asked. They were actually really good to deal with. I was pleased with that. So <clears throat> yeah, it hasn't been a little bit of a rocky start. Those are some quality control things that I think there's definitely room for improvement. Like I say, I don't know if this was just maybe a Friday build or slipped through the cracks and uh, 
didn't get a final inspection, I'm not really sure. They should definitely test trailer brakes. They should definitely look at the wiring loom to make sure, you know, just small quality control, things like that. I'm not, not sure if that's normal or like I say, you know, people make mistakes, companies make mistakes and things can kind of slip through the cracks. Um, so yeah, that wasn't the best experience. Uh, a couple other things that I don't, I don't love about it. So these removable fenders and Big Tex isn't the only one to do this, but they're held on with one bolt. So, I mean, they're not, not sturdy. I don't know why they do that. If you remove the fender, the tires are still there, so it doesn't really gain you much space. I don't like that. Also, there's no support right here on the fender. So if you stand on this, I think, I think you could bend it. I don't stand on those fenders. They're not, they don't seem to be very robust to me. Uh, I think that's pretty much my only other little complaint so far. It's been excellent aside from the first little hiccups. Um, the build quality on the structure of it seems really good. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other problems. So a couple, I guess some things I really like about it. I like that this, this is pretty easy to use with your foot and latch down. It's out of the way also. Um, it's also not sticking out it's no wider it's actually narrower than your fenders even i like that i really like all the storage you get up here in the tongue so chains binders all that stuff yeah i don't i don't really have much else to say about it other than those quality control issues that i had right off the bat that are a bummer that can happen with any manufacturer but it does seem like those things should have been caught uh, prior to it shipping out to be sold I will I'll try to do some more update videos of this trailer um, You know after I use it for a year or so like I say I've used it about a month and aside from those initial hiccups It's been really good. I like it. Um, it tows really good. There's no real complaints about the functionality of it I think it'll be a really good trailer long term um, So yeah, I'll try to do some updates on it as I get some more use out of it, but uh, Yeah, so far the the initial impressions pretty rough start and i do still i'm happy with my decision still i think it'll be good after i got those kinks worked out it's uh, been a good trailer so hopefully it continues to be so and i will keep everybody updated on on the trailer whether good or bad